Okay, next problem we see. We're participating in a medical experiment to check with a dietary supplement to reduce cholesterol. We have 60 randomly selected men, 40 are non-smokers, and 20 are smokers. And we know from the past that smoking can affect cholesterol levels in men. Design, describe the design of an appropriate experiment as blocking necessary. Explain. Okay, so here's what we want to do. We want to break these people up first, but the problem is if we do a completely randomized design, maybe we'll get more smokers in one group than in the other and more non-smokers. And we know smokers are affected differently. So what we want to do is we want to start off with these 60 men that we have initially, and we want to block them into two groups. So that in the end, I'm comparing smokers against smokers and non-smokers against non-smokers. That way, I'm taking out this variable that most closely associates with cholesterol. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to block. And we're going to block based on smoking. So the first group up here will be our 40 non-smokers. And down here, we'll have our 20 smokers. And down here, we're going to have our 20 smokers. Now, what we got to think is that, again, these people, just like blocking, the people inside each of these groups are homogenous, so they're as similar as possible as we have. Okay, now what we need to do, once we have that, we want to randomly assign each of our people into one of the treatment groups. So we're going to use randomization, and this isn't exactly what I'd write, but I don't have a ton of space, to pick 20 people to go to group 1. We'll call this group 1. We'll get 20 people to go to group two. Do the same thing down here, except we'll pick 10 and 10. And the unequal size doesn't matter. So this one we'll call group three, and this one we'll call group four. Okay, after that, what we'll do, group one, we'll go ahead and we'll give them the supplement. So we'll give them treatment one, the supplement. And let's do the next group. Let's give them a placebo. So we'll give them, we'll call it treatment two, we'll give them a placebo. I'm not sure if we need a placebo here. Cholesterol can't really be changed with the power of your mind, but it's still not a bad idea to put one in. So we'll give them a control, and then that way we can compare this against these two groups. Okay, same thing down here. The first group we're going to give treatment one. Notice that. It's not treatment three. They're getting the same treatment as the other group, which is the supplement. And down here, these guys are getting treatment two, which will be the control. All right, we'll give them some time, then we'll come back, and we will compare all of their results. We'll compare the cholesterol level. And there we go. There is a randomized block design. Let's go write it up in the next video. For these next couple problems, go ahead and read the problem, and I'm going to type a solution. Feel free to pause it at home and come back and check your answer and see how you're matching up. And I'll, I'll go over some important parts with each one as we work through them. So in this one, we're going to block the students by gender because boys and girls learn differently, and this most closely associates with the response variable of performance on the math test. So first, we'll block on gender, then put all the boys' names into a hat and mix well. Pull out the first 23 boys without replacements, go to the group with learning with pointing. The other 24 will learn without hand gestures. Next, repeat for girls with all 81 names in the hat, mix well, and pull out the first 41 to use hand gestures. The remaining 40 will use no gestures. After the lesson, we'll compare the results on the math test. Okay, big, big ideas here, blocking on gender. Next, the group sizes don't have to be equal. It doesn't matter that I have a sample, one sample, one group of 24 and one group of uh, 23. That makes no difference, although people like to think it does. Because in the end, we're taking the average, so it's all good. Next couple, I'm just going to put up the answer, so just check at your leisure. In this, in this design, I'm going to block on age, because like they say, age will affect memorization. Since there are two treatments, I'll, I'm going to create blocks of size 2. I'll put in order the list of all subjects from oldest to youngest, and the first block will be the two oldest people. The next block will be the next two oldest, all the way down to the two youngest. This creates 60 blocks. Then, in each block, taking the oldest person, I'll flip a coin. If it's heads, the oldest per person will get the first memorization method. If it's tails, they'll get the second method. The other person in the block will get the other treatment. Repeat this for the remaining 59 blocks. After, have them both take the test and compare their score. All right, here's what the last one looks like. Blood pressure is closely related to smoking, so I'm going to block on smoking. If you think it's closely related to weight, you could block on weight. It doesn't matter. Just justify that you think it's related to that, so that's what you're going to do. First, divide the sample into two groups, smokers and non. Next, I'll put all the smokers into a hat, mix well, and pull out the first 25% to go to the yoga group. I don't know how many are there, so I, that's why I say 20%. Next, 25% to get the drug, 25% meditation. The remaining will be a control group to do nothing. 
Control group is important because maybe the time of the year might affect all their blood pressures, get them to drop or rise depending on what this job is like. So that's why a control group is nice to see if all the groups drop. Um, next, I'll repeat the same process for all the non-smokers. Again, one to four groups. After a certain amount of time, compare their blood pressure. The experiment cannot be blind because people uh, will know whether or not they meditate or do yoga. Population of interest is all employees. And you can see the diagram down below.